so how is Kupang how is Kupang in West Timor in Indonesia I thought I'm doing a quick video here just to let you know my thoughts and to give you some expressions of uh, the city here Kupang small city in uh, West Timor I'm here for the first time and uh, I'm doing this video also hello uh, because it is really a special experience and I want to share this with you here in this video what is so special about Timor you might ask because for some of you who are, have traveled already through Indonesia or to other places in Southeast Asia you might say ah oh, it, it looks very ordinary and here is a mosque it's Ramadan by the way yeah it looks very ordinary Salam. nothing special ah oh, not really because when you look at the buildings and the small stalls and how they sell the fish here you might say oh my god I better don't travel here yeah no but you have to come here because of the people and it seems that so farther away you travel so more friendly the people become and uh, this is definitely the case here in Timor I say Timor because we are or I am currently on the island of Timor which is actually divided the western part belongs to Indonesia and the eastern part is a separate country which is called Timor Leste and Kupang and West Timor actually belongs to the province of East Nusa Tenggara I, I'm not sure East Nusa Tenggara province for those of you who have uh, more knowledge about this uh, let me know anyway so farther you travel away so friendlier become the people and this is uh, just uh, crazy what's going on here in terms of friendliness I arrived four days ago and and these are the minibuses here very funny I haven't had a chance to catch one of these but I con I'm constantly being asked to join them and you see uh, I actually should go to these guys and have a chat but most of them don't speak English but anyway yeah this is what's going on here uh, of course I am the I'm not the only foreigner here but I'm of the of the very few ones and when you walk down the streets you know you're being constantly greeted uh, yeah people waving at you they're shouting at you like in a, in a, in a good way you know they're curious they are want to actually approach you uh, and talk to you and um, yeah they are very very actually open and not scared at all if I sh would have to describe this whole thing what you experience here is, is cu curiosity curiosity this is what 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 you will you what you will be experiencing here when you uh, travel around Kupang or just stay here Salam and Dimana? Saya jalan ke hotel saya. Okay. Okay, anyway. Yes, how are you my friend? Apa kabar? Apa kabar? Ada baik baik. Baik? Kamu baik? Okay, good. So we we solve this matter? Eh? No, 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 no. I don't have a tiada. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, now these little boys, yeah, they're asking for money. It's not the first time it happened to me, but anyway, 
so people are very friendly here i've been approached by university students twice already they wanted to do an interview with me to practice the english uh, they, they are not shy at all these people here uh, not aggressive in any way uh, some yeah it seems they are a little bit suspicious you know they give you strange looks but it's because yeah, maybe they haven't seen a foreigner in a while and that's why they're just uh, curious or give you strange looks but it, it, it's not in a, a offensive or aggressive way uh, and this is why you should travel here to experience the hospitality of these people it's a poor region yes it's it's a poor poor country here but i talked to a few i just talked to a very old man the other day he's 72 years old and i asked him about his life are you happy here do you miss anything how is life here in general he said it's good you know i have my family here i have food on the table he he lives in a very actually shabby uh, house uh, i don't find any other word at the moment uh, for western standards it was really a shabby thing but uh, you know he was a good guy he was happy and there are uh, students again i don't know if, if they will approach me hello yeah but you see very friendly not shy at all uh, you don't find this in jakarta or in bali yeah? this is the aston hotel here uh, this is the only now it's not a five-star hotel but if you want to get some comfortability you better stay in this place i stay at the swiss bell court which is also very affordable it only cost me 22 dollars per night it's a three-star property but relatively new right on the on the on the seaside so it's beautiful unfortunately the weather is not so nice it's uh, the rainy season i don't know but normally you can experience beautiful weather and sunsets and stuff like that. Papa Kabar. Bike, bike, okay. So nice people. And so yeah, I got a lot uh, I got in touch with a lot of people since my arrival and that's that's the fun for me. Um, for me this is the essence of traveling this is actually what i want to share with you this is the essence of traveling for me i'm gonna show you the uh, the other side this is the essence of traveling you know talk to people get to know them sitting in their houses ask personal questions and encourage them to share about their life so i can learn something about their culture and this is what i'm after i am after these things you know uh, i'm not uh, so much after cool instagram pics you know or so this is the other side now today we are lucky because we can see the hillside yesterday and the day before was all hidden behind clouds and imagine when you have blue sky and sunshine how, how amazing it uh, would look but look at this already this view alone is worth coming here because there is no settlement over there you cannot see any buildings this is pure nature like the lord created it basically an infinite time ago right so at the end of the world here in west timor a very nice place very good vibes and uh, yeah and this is what i'm after you know getting in touch with the local people it's more fun when these local people are open to that you know you know you travel to places like jakarta or the big cities nobody gives a real nobody nobody gives a damn about you really uh, i mean I don't need attention don't get me wrong yeah but uh, people are busy with other stuff but here you can really feel actually 
what the essence of human beings is and the true essence in my opinion of human beings is hospitality it doesn't matter where where you travel to in the world you know human beings by nature are not uh, offensive or aggressive I travel a lot I can confirm this and so father where you travel you know you travel to these very remote places then you re really learn a lot about human about humanity about human spirit about true human characteristics and we humans are actually friendly and hospitable we are not aggressive we don't want to fight if a stranger is walking down the street we don't want to kill him yeah he is a stranger but the true nature of humans actually is we are curious at most but we are hospitable he is a stranger yeah he might need our help right so we offer him our hospitality we welcome him uh, to our house we offer him some food and drink we sit him down we give him a place to rest you know that's the story I experience here you know and it's not about money it's not about how much do you have or oh you are the rich foreigner let's talk to you and let's find out how much we can uh, get out of you how much we can squeeze out of you no this is not what I experienced here in Timor here in Timor I experienced pure human hospitality and interest people are also interested in me this is genuine they show genuine interest you know this is the vibe I get here and they say hi they wave if they can speak some English they want to chat with you for a few minutes and then they leave that's it and so this is a great experience for them I think they're gonna share this with their friends and family in the in the evening maybe yeah today I met this foreigner you know and we took some pictures so and that's it and the same for me I, I, I will share the same thing with my friends or so I'm sharing this here with, on the video with you so that's what I'm after and I'm so happy I came here there are no high-rises here there is no Gucci store no Armani store there's no McDonald's no Burger King here but beautiful nature and that's actually also very macabre actually because this is a, a cemetery a cemetery right next to a busy road this is the busiest road in Kupang, by the way. Yeah. So, there's a cemetery. And you know what's interesting? Christians and Muslims alike are buried here. Yeah. So, this is a, a Muslim grave here. And that was a, a Christian one. These things you'll probably only find here in West Timor. Yeah, no big corporations to be found here, no McDonald's, no Gucci, no BMW, no huge shopping malls. There is one shopping mall here, I visited it already. Quite nice, quite decent, but you also, you also have to have a shopping mall, right? But other than that, you have very friendly people. And honestly, I think here the real world really starts, you know. I'm gonna explore more, you know. Uh, I think I'm saturated with Southeast Asia in terms of countries like Vietnam and, and, and Thailand and so on. I think here the real interesting part starts. So I extend my comfort zone somehow. Timor, Timor Leste. Papua, Papua, New Guinea, and then the other islands, you know, Fiji and uh, I don't know, you name them. I, I, I think I'm going to put these places on my bucket list now and going to travel to them in the near future.
But of course you also have a lot of beaches here and a lot of forest. Uh, it's a very rural place, West Timor. Basically, after Kupang there's nothing much left than jungle and some other deserted beaches. But I think for people who love nature, who love solitude, who love peace of mind and a, a simple life, friendly people, uh, yeah, uh, people who like a humble life, they they can come here. You rent a motorbike uh, and you do some camping. I think you can do some great camping here. Yeah, so this is the place to go for camping, being in nature, uh, hanging out here. And experience uh, nice people. Okay, guys. That's all I wanted to share. Uh, the last thing is, uh, yeah, I was showing you the mosque uh, just a few minutes ago. Yeah, Timor is mixed in terms of religion. Uh, you have a lot of Catholics here. Protestants and but also Muslim people so it's very diverse very tolerant here but this is very common for Indonesia anyway there's nothing special but I like it and actually this is the only mosque I saw you see a lot of churches here you know uh, there are a lot of churches around and the last thing I want to say is that I, I'm actually not feeling like being in Indonesia. It feels like being in a totally different country. Seriously, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just the feeling I get by walking around and watching these people. Oh, apa kabar? That's taking video, my friend. Uh, stop! Stop! No. I, I should actually, I'm stupid, I'm so stupid. Why didn't I take the chance and hop on this bus? You know, I just a few mo moments ago I mentioned that, huh? That I did not, I have not mentioned to get one of these buses. Now this guy is stopping right in front of me and is inviting me, actually he asked me. But anyway, so this is how it is in life, right? Opportunities present itself to you, but for some strange reason you are not taking them or you don't recognize them and just when the opportunity has departed you realize it and uh, and you see the opportunity is gone now yeah a lesson to be learned but the good thing with life is, before I stop my philosophical lesson here, I don't, I don't want to bore you with that, but you know, that's the lessons of life. But the good thing is also opportunities will continue to present itself to you. We just have to get smarter and improve our judgment in order to be able to spot these opportunities right in that moment and grab them and catch them and don't let them go like this little minibus here it was an opportunity for me to hop on and maybe make a short video you know and maybe i just wait for the next one and take a small ride anyway i let you go greetings from timor west timor in indonesia take care bye bye